Hello everyone, this is Becca from Willow Hill Designs, and today I am sharing my page, my week number 11 for Marguerite Miller's Weekly Collage Planner Challenge. And the prompts for this week are a cold-blooded animal, and I have chosen a bee, honey bee as a cold-blooded animal. <clears throat> Something you see or do on vacation. <clears throat> Excuse me. And one of the things that um, I like to do is to go antiquing. So this is uh, kind of a fun thing to go and see what kind of shops there are and flea market shops. I also like to look for old books. So that is kind of a fun thing to do on vacation. And um, let's see, a bit of yellow. So the bit of yellow that I'm including will be this portion of this flower. It looks like maybe a daffodil or no, maybe not. That a bee is on, I guess that's the um, stamens. So that will be my bit of yellow. Um, a map, that would be this, which is a, um, a map of Woodford State Park. Um, that is in Vermont. This is an old portion of a map, so I thought I would include that. Some sheet music. This is music from when I was taking uh, piano lessons when I was little, very little, very young. Um, this is a page from there, The Owl's Question. So I thought that would kind of go with the nature theme here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I have a uh, sign that says antiques, so I think that... Um, works with everything here. I'll try to include that. And bonus is a star. So I decided on a starfish. And starfish are also cold-blooded animals. So that kind of goes in with everything here. So I'm going to um, start gluing down. And I think this is where I want this Woodford State Park map. So I will put this here. This will be part of my background. kind of hated to glue this down, but I thought it's kind of a nice way to preserve it at the same time. And you can see the picture of the loon here. I think that's a loon or maybe a flicker. I'm not sure I'm looking upside down. might be a flicker. Um, some of the different birds and things that you see in this park. It's very pretty. <clears throat> I happen to love Vermont, love it. And I just went around the edges of this um, portion of the map just to sort of give it an, a defined edge. And um, this music I will glue here. That'll go there, I think. <clears throat> this was when I very first started to take piano lessons. And my teacher was always writing reminders on there to me, which note had how many counts. Um, he was a nice person. Can't complain. Okay, I guess we'll put that there. And um, this is an oldie, an oldie but goodie. So I guess I will, let me see, I think I'll put my little antiques um, photo here. I think it's fun to see all of these weathered wood in the white I love that look and all this white wear. I look for I love anything white. I think it looks so beautiful. And some artichokes. I actually have a uh, ceramic artichoke in my living room on the fireplace mantle and I love <laughs> I love it. It's probably strange, but I love it. I'd like this little owl up here to show. Um I'll move this over a bit. 
and um, I'm thinking that I will put this here. Um, let's see, maybe I'll move that over a bit. I kind of like that these books are tied together. I, I think that gives a very nice, it's a nice image. Um, and then I thought I'll tuck this starfish under here. Let's see which way, I guess this way. Which um, kind of also gives a nod to the fact that I love to um, be by the ocean as well. This is kind of a simple one this week. Uh, I think that is the layout that I'm going to go for. So I guess I will start maybe with, uh, I wonder if I should go over the edge a bit there. Maybe that's nice to break that edge up a tiny bit. Bring that down. Maybe I'll do that. So I think what I'll do is first um, glue one edge of this down just to kind of secure that in place. Okay. And let's see. I think I'll bring that down a bit. Bring this over. I don't want to cover up my starfish entirely. And I can pop this hand here. So I think I think I'm good with the uh, B. I think I'll put this B here. Hopefully that is straight. Let's see, I'll put my B there. And I think I'd like that. Let's see. I think I'd like that a little bit over the edge. So let's just kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, do that. I can flap this up a little bit and finish gluing this down. Love these. Love. I love old books. I love to, um, well, if it's a favorite author, I won't, um, it'll go in my bookcase, but otherwise I'd love to decorate with them. I love to put lamps on them and vases and just different things. Okay, and I think that leaves us enough room for that. So I guess I'll tack this down. Take down my little bee here. I love honeybees. Um, when I had a cotoneaster plant in my garden down by the gazebo, um, I lost that plant But many years later. But when I was working down there weeding, um, the bees would just, honeybees would swarm all over that plant. And, oh, I was supposed to... I was supposed to tuck that, wasn't I? Maybe I'll have room. They would swarm that plant, and oh my goodness, it was so, so nice to see them there. I wonder if I can lift up a little edge. I think I can. Yeah, I think I can tuck that. 
I'm very careful. <laughs> this is art glitter glue and it doesn't give up easily. Gosh, it wouldn't be a collage if I didn't forget to tuck something under somewhere. It just wouldn't be a collage. Let me just see if I can loosen that up a bit. A little more there. Probably pushing my luck. There. That's what I originally intended. <laughs> I get there in the end. It takes me a little while, but I get there in the end. Okay, so let's just do this. Okay, I don't think that'll go anywhere. And then I can just put a little glue here. And then I'll glue this little edge down here. This was like a puzzle. Okay, glue that down. There. Kind of nice to have this little piece of music from my childhood. And this, so many times, um, this we would go to the state park in Vermont for picnics with the kids and um, going antiquing and hunting. There was a library that always had um, a book sale and the kids would even love to go and find books. And you could get books for uh, 25 cents at the time. Um, and we, I know my mom and I and my husband, we all would really sometimes find some gems for 25 cents, we were, we would just grab them right up. Uh, they still have those sales too. I think that's in Arlington. <clears throat> now my, now my little grandchildren like to go to that. Okay, I think, I think we've got everything here. Let's check and see see what we've got. Do I have my pen here? Uh, let's see. Yes, I do. Okay. Cold-blooded animal, that would be the bee, and also the starfish, both cold-blooded animal. Something you see or do on vacation, so that would be antiquing, and here's the sign we look for, and um, looking for old books as well. A bit of yellow, that's the little yellow on this flower here with the bee. Uh, <clears throat> a map, so that's this portion of um, Woodward State Park, Woodford State Park in Vermont. Some sheet music, that's from my childhood. And bonus a star, so that's the starfish. So that's everything. This was really... A very, very easy one this week. <laughs> that was fun. I, I love them every week. I always say, oh, I really like this. And then next week, I, really, I think there's only been one or two that I didn't care for that much. But um, I'll just give you a little close up here. There's my bee and my wonderful owl and the music. Love that. Woodford State Park. And the images of antiques and there's the map of the, it's um this is also a campground and picnic area and um, a starfish so that is that is everything for week 11 in marguerite miller's weekly collage planner challenge thank you very much for joining me today and i wish you many blessings and see you in the next video bye for now